Hello everyone, Foxlow back again, another episode of No Man's Sky and um, where I'm still in the LQ Palos galaxy and I found this particular moon which is um, where I've now uh, plonked my home base on. I've also discovered a portal base on here um, but I just wanted to show you um, why I chose this particular moon. As you can see, it's a paradise moon um, and it's a bit unusual because it looks cartoony, that's why I really chose it. I like this, um, and it's in a green star system, and I like these balloon, uh, the, yeah, the balloon type planets, I like them. Um, so we're going to have a little run around in the Pilgrim, because, um, yeah, I'll finish the base, let's have a quick look. Another out of the box type of base, um, as you can see by what it looks like from there, look. I've managed to do some slightly different build configuration with the, di uh, the big triangles and it looks quite cool. And I found an electromagnetic field. It's only a C-class but it's enough to drive what I want in here. Um, so I made a path up to it and it's more or less in line with the base itself. I particularly wanted to put the base here and not over there by the um, station or the uh, platform there. Um, because that's sometimes what I normally do, but I didn't particularly want to on this occasion. I mean, it does, it looks cartoony, doesn't it, the planet? It really does. But um, we're going to have a wander around it in the Pilgrim. And what I've got to do now, because I said I'm going to go to each different uh, star system and plonk a base on each, I'll probably just do a portal base on each of them from here on in, because it does, it'll be a bit quicker that way. But anyway, um, let's go downstairs. Uh, this is how I've done this base, it's only, I ain't put a lot on it, a few bits and pieces. I'm slowly doing the missions to do the um, Quicksilver, I've got 3200, so I can buy some more stuff for the bases, you know. I like my bits and pieces for the base, but um, I'm not going to spend any, any of it yet. So yeah, this is it at the moment. I've got this sort of... Uh, quadrangle of a base at the bottom here. I brought in all the NPCs from the other galaxy, so they're all here. There's Brigadier, Brigadier Gun Egg Grey. <laughs> all me um, NPCs, yeah. That's cool. Uh, he says. So let's go for a wander. Let's do a save while I'm at it. Okay, and I've only put, uh, got the program down. Nothing else. And my Oh, it was, I can't see now. Oh, there it is. The freight is up there in the cloud base. <laughs> anyway, let's have a quick wander and you'll see what the um, planet is like. Definitely cartoony, I think it is. What do you reckon? Sort of cartoony, isn't it? I don't know. I need some more. Um, where are we? Yeah, I like these three slots full up of um, carbon, so let's go and farm some carbon while we're having a wander around. I found all the animals on this uh, moon, but there's one particular one that keeps attacking us. It's the one with, there's one with uh, wings on it, so that one always gets killed by me, <coughs> if I see it. I need some carbon. Not bad actually, the planet, or the moon, it's a moon actually, but I haven't discovered all the plants though. As you can see, I haven't, haven't analysed these yet. But I only want the carbon from it, so at the moment I'm not going to analyse them. What's that one? Oh, it's pure ferrite. Okay, we'll have some of that as well. At the moment, I don't want the secondary items, but I did discover these which shows spatium, but um, yeah, not the others. Well, I don't know if I've showed my recent pet either. Have I showed it before? I don't think I have. Let's have a look. Let's show me recent pet. Where did I, um, hmm, I got him a little while ago now. Let's have a look. I call him Lofty. There you go, there's Lofty. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's a cool. Three. Give me a lot, i want to give you a hug. There you go. You can have some food. So yeah, I like him. Um, the only ones I've seen before on other people's um, streams and videos is they, this type of um, so-called dino has a flat face. I've no, never seen this one before. So hopefully he's... Um, hey, look at him. Look, look, look. He's knocking about the pilgrim. So he's cute. Cute and biggie. Sort of dinosaur, isn't he? Oh, look at that. Look, all square. All my frigates are all square blocks from this distance. Anyway, let's carry on. We'll, he'll probably um, despawn when I get in the pilgrim. Yeah, he's gone. Right, let's get some more. Trees are few and far between. Where's my face? I'm still near it. Oh, there's. That's the um, electromagnetic fuel we can see there. Okay, let's go and grab some more. It's a nice big area, this, isn't it? I like big flat areas. I think I've discovered this, have I? Let's have a look. No, I haven't. Okay. It's an observatory. I don't want to look for the observatory and find anything else. Let's just get some trees, shall we? This is why I like mining with the exocar, because they do it quicker than the uh, multi-tool, if you're mining normal stuff. Do it with the exocraft if you can, you actually get it quicker. You can actually get it quicker with the um, ship as well, if you're mining ferrite dust. Grab these words. Oh, we in seven minutes, okay. I want to see if I can... We're going to port... Oh, that's my that as well. We're going to port to the Euclid Galaxy, and what I'm going to have to do is... Um, yeah. Because I'm out of chronological order, I want the weapon. Why is he not come out? There we go. There we go. Because we're out of chronological order of uh, going through the uh, systems, there's, according to the wiki now, there's 255 or maybe 256 galaxies. That's a lot, but I'm going to do them all. All of them. So to do it quickly, and in chronological order, I'll have to go back to Euclid and then throw it down because I've missed out on eight galaxies by um, going from straight from Eisentam to the next galaxy after that, which was LQ Palace, which is the one we're in now. But um, to be able to get in a chronological order, I'll have to go back to Euclid and jump to the other planets that are before Eisentam. If I read them out, it's Hilbert, Calypso, Hesperus, Hades, Ichamatu, Uldulangre, if I can pronounce that, Kilkolgar, and then I, Eltonstein, and then Eisentam. So I've still got eight galaxies to go before I can say I've been to the ones previous to um, Eisentam. So that's what I'm going to do. But there I'm going to just find portal bases. I won't be on the home bases on the just Take me too long. What are we now? Eight minutes, okay. How much have we got? Well, not a lot, 3,000, I want to do. So, what we're going to do in this particular episode, just done that little bit just to show this particular planet. Um, let's go back. Right. I need to go back, it'll take quicker on time. Let's well, let's put the condensed in. We'll have some of that. And where are we now? Exocar. Let's put all that in me quick. That gives me a bit more. Pure ferrite. This is all in preparation to... I need some more cadmium. Um, repairing my ship's... Um, so when we cross to the new galaxy, so I've got enough stuff here, I think, to repair everything. As you can see, look, I've still got all this lot on me. That should be enough to repair a couple of jumps. We'll have to buy, um, get some more wiring loom and some more 
microprocessors I think before we actually travel so I can repair this stuff. I know you can get repair items from the salvage guy by using these and getting the uh, what you call it the um, the minerals that they give you to so you can buy the repair kits but then you have to go spend an hour or however long farming the <coughs> The derelict freighters, which is going to take time, and I, ain't, I don't want to do that. Uh, because I've got all this resource, I don't really need to do that, do I? Um, yeah, access suit. Put you in there. Do I need that as well? Not really. Nah, just leave that on him. Okay, let's pull you up. Okay, let's call. Skyler. Be a bit quicker. Jumping quick before she lands. We're in. There we go. <laughs> Good save. I know that was pointless, but you know, I like doing it. Right, let's go. Um, we're 11 minutes in. Let's see if we can do this. Need to go back to base. Whee! Have a quick flyby. My walkway to the uh, electromagnetic site. My usual, slightly different. But there we go. I quite like this place as well. So it's good to have a little flyby. So we can see it. And there it is. Okay, no, don't crash. Don't crash this thing. You get knocked back. You need to land. Tire. Come on. Go green. There we go. And I found the NPCs are actually landing on my uh, landing pads. Not very often. But they do occasionally come here. I've had a, I think I've had three of the ships land on there. But anyway, let's get downstairs. And we'll teleport to my Euclid ball. And get our next jump in. Um, I'm just thinking. Hmm. <coughs> Maybe I ought to. Yeah, we need to buy some gear first, just in case. Let's go <coughs> space station, current system. Go there quick. Just to buy some microprocessors quickly. <coughs> Diversion. Where are we? Uh, where are we? Let's fight another ten. Oh, no ten. Nice even number. There we go. Do I need to get um, metal plating? How much have I got? We're going to need all that for repairs. So we could do with another ten, couldn't we? Or make it. Yeah. Let's get another. I won't need it for the initial one, but... Okay. Right, let's go to Euclid. My portal base in Euclid. Where are we? Where are we? Euclid portal base. There we go. Let's go. Now, if you remember on my last video where I showed what Survival Bob does um, using the portals to get within 5,000 light years of the uh, galactic center of that particular galaxy. It works in any galaxy. So, hopefully, this is a very basic portal base as you can see that that's all that's here. Right, let's. going. Oh, please don't say I've got to redo it all. No, of course. I think I've already activated this. You only should only activate it once. Okay. And this is the address. You just pump in the first one. And that will get you within 5,000 light years 
of the core, the galactic core, in the Euclid galaxy. So I should find the Hilberts I mentioned being the next one. Let's go. See. To find that moon that I got on um, where we're just leaving, or previously, it took me about 10 jumps, I think, to find that moon. Not too bad. Oh, we should have jumped twice there. Okay, so whee, hot dog system, first contact. Oh, I'm already here, I don't know. Hot dog system. Ah. Right, let's get off to space. And we should hopefully be 5,000 light years away from the core. I'm not going to look at the planets here. Planets this code 6 out of the system, I believe he's falling. There we go, we're 5,700 light years away. Cool. So this is where we have to do the jumps. To the centre, let's try and do it nice and quick. And that will take us to the Hilbert dimension. If I can work out like I did the last time. Um, <clears throat> couldn't work out. We need to go there. Now to actually jump from the last point <clears throat> to the new galaxy. You know. Took me a few uh, tries, didn't it? If you watch that. So this will be the fourth galaxy that I've been to. Let me get there. Oh no, I don't want this. Let me get out of here. Oh, look at that. I really didn't want this. We have to go through it. I can't get out of it. I mean, even if I go into the... I won't be able to... Um, fall away. So we've got to do it. I need one of those. There's the next one. Come on, where are you? Down here. Where's he gone? He's gone. Well, that's funny. Where have they gone? I can't see the icon for him. <coughs> Excuse me. There he is. Alright, oh, next one. I really didn't want to do this. Um, I'm not finding them now. No, no, no. Even though he wasn't marked. See, the mark keeps on disappearing. The pointer to the um, one that I've got to shoot, I let go. And it's one of the uh, flakers that I like, but obviously I'm not going to change my current flaker. Come on, where's the next one? Oh, yeah. Come on, Mr. I want to get on. I'm Okay, let's go away from you. I'm not even going to visit him. Let's go. Because I want to get it done in this video. 19 minutes. Oh, come on, keep going, girl. Keep going. She's got a long range of Skylar. Long enough for this.
So a nice quick way to get to the galaxy, galaxy core. And like I said, that address works in any system. Discovered by Dr. Blazeman. It's a cool name. Well done, Mr. Blazeman. Uh, let's get out. No, that's good. Okay, next one. Still got more places to go. We're 4,000 away. Two jumps. And then when we get there, I've got to change to the... Uh, Sacrifice, so that's the only one that gets damaged. And that brings us 3,000 light years away. Okay. So that's a lot of galaxies to try and get your bases on. 255. It's going to take a while. <laughs> but that's cool. Dr. Baseman got this again. Skip. Let's go. Hopefully this will be the last jump. No, I want to minimise. Data unavailable. Okay, cool. I would think it's a lot of people have done this, isn't it? So that's why we're going to... No. Ah, I think this is the last one. Because I don't... Yeah, we're right on the edge of the galaxy there. You can see. Let's see. When we get there. Mac was here, was he? So there's loads of players that have done this. I would have thought. There we go. Discovered by Max Case Hardner. Oh, okay, Max. <laughs> I'll name some some people. <laughs> right, let's check the system. Planet discovered two of two dominant life form none. Okay. Are we in the right place? Yeah, we are, because now I can't... Oh, wait a minute, I can if I hold it, but I don't want to do that just yet. We need to change to the sacrifice. Let's just make sure we're looking at the right place. Yeah, there it is. Galaxy course. Yeah, it took quite quick to get here, didn't it? So what we need to do now... Call the freighter up. Hopefully. There she goes. Change the sacrifice. And do the bid. No, that's done a it takes a while to save the first part of the file. But I guess just just in case. That's a bit better, I'll do that. <laughs> I know it's gonna save again. Well, it's not, because I'm not going to jump out of the sacrifice, so... Let's get in the sacrifice. And away we go. And she's got some tech on her. Just enough so that she's able to jump a little bit, but... Not the amount of tech that Skylar's got on, so I'm not going to lose that. Right, hold it on this time. I want to go there, so I've got to hold it, see? you hold it. I didn't realise that. There we go. Why? Oh. Oh, I know. <gasps> no, not free explore. Galactic core. Done the wrong thing again. Hold it. Should give me an icon. Oh, it's not holding it now. Though. Why isn't it doing it now? Why don't we do it again? Am I doing something wrong? See, that's where it's got to be. Come on, there we go. Is it going to do it again? Now it's holding it. Okay. Hyperdrive is not... Oh, sugar. <laughs> no wonder. You twit. Oh dear, hyperdrive has no fuel. Must have used it all. I'm going to have to make some. Um, let's 
to make two, give it two. Well, it's got fuel. Obviously, maybe not enough. So you're going to have a full tank of fuel on it? Hmm, hopefully. Because that's all she had last time. Try that again. Come on. There we go. That's it, X warp. There we go. Got to ensure that it's got a full tank then. Here we go. Next galaxy. The Hilbert Dimension, hopefully. It's cool. And we'll see what this galaxy is like. Now that's the quick way, guys, of getting to the galaxy core. Didn't take long, did it? Now I found in um, El Cufalos, most of the uh, bad planets were all really mountainous and horrible. But they did have a few paradise planets, but they all had really bad storms. Until I found that moon. Oh, we're there. Dark red, sort of, isn't it? Dark red sun. Hilbert dimension, there we go. So we'll do it in chronological order now. I'll try and find a decent paradise planet or moon in this system and do the same. But um, I won't make a home base, I'll make a portal base. What are they going to give us as a planet? Doesn't really matter. Um, not as if we're starting fresh, is it? That's cool. Got to do it another 200 and... Uh, I've got a 3, that's 4, 251 times. <laughs> Wookie uh, X1X, first contact. Heated atmosphere, unwavering copious. Oh, look at this already, look. Commencing system suit initialization. Base computer archives, complete Nexus missions, community research. It never comes up though, does it? Each time I go on the Nexus now, even at the weekend, the community system is not up. So I don't know if, um, what that's all about. See, community research. It never comes up as a community research when I go on the um, Nexus. But during just the normal missions, not the community ones, presumably that gets that up. But anyway. We're at our new system. Oh, what have we got here? Oh yeah, everything's damaged, isn't it? I forgot. Is he going to attack me? I did, oh damn, I didn't change my weapon, did I? See, he's all damaged. Bummer, I didn't change the weapon. Oh, look at all that. What a, what a fall. See, we all make mistakes, don't we? I should have changed this, I forgot. Changed this to my crappy gun, which doesn't need repairing. So you've got to repair all that. I've got stuff to repair it with. Um, so that's not a problem. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't take a lot. Let's just do that, you see? Only 40, obviously one of them. So it's pretty quick. We'll do the basic stuff first. And I've got the battery. So in that sense, I was already, I've got all the stuff to repair it with. But I should have changed the gun, stupid boy. That reminds me now for the next time. Let's do these analyzers. Oh, I've got to make one of them, okay. Let's make some. So it's pretty simple, even to repair like this. 
Let's make a few. Let's make five. Yeah, you can use the repair things, but you've got to have done all the derelict ships, which I've not done. So, the repair kits that you get from the um, derelict guy is fine, but with the amount of resources that you've probably already got, you really don't need to, to be quite honest. Unless, of course, you have stacked up all that stuff, which I haven't. Oh, well, I need to make that. Well, it's not so important right now. So oh, that one is low. Where are we? Oh, I need to make those two as well. <laughs> so we'll do that in a minute. Let's just repair the gun so that I've got some defense. Uh, um, I'll make a magic seal. Okay, let's, let's do these first. And the gun. Oh, I've got to make that as well. Where is he? Where is he? Scout last time. Uh, um, uh oh. Okay, let's call out. I haven't repaired everything. I'll do that later off, off, off camera. Let's call out not him. The Skyler. Uh, Skyler this time. There we go. Quickly have a look at the system. We're 30 minutes in. We'll just go to the station and see if there's any um, allied planets on here. Let's do a save. Cool. Right, let's get up there. Visit your old friends. It does that every time you go to a new galaxy. But we're not going to call them in right now. What I want to do is check how many planets uh, are in this system. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Okay, five. Unknown moon, unknown. Yeah, okay. Let's have a look at them all first. No. Desert planet, that's obviously a nice planet, that one. Aggressive Sentinels, yeah, it was normal. Where's the other one? There we go, there's five in here and there. We discovered this high temperature planet, okay. What about the other two? Temperate planet, progressive sentinel. Right, where's the other one? What's the other one like? Oh, that's M2. Did we look at that one? Yeah, desert planet. Let's go and quickly have a look at that. Progressive sentinel one. Because it's a temperate planet, we'll see. And then we'll call it when we get there. So we found one in the first system that we've come to. Let's see what it's like. Oh, that looks stormy already. Those clouds like that, or is it? Oh, that's a corner. Three stars there. I like it when you get a cloud base like this. As long as it's not stormy underneath. But it is. Oh, man. And it's water filled. Whee! Oh, that's crappy to start with. Okay, let's just get to the station. I'm not going to discover that yet. We'll visit our old friend later. Let's just get to the station.
So a big mistake not changing my uh, weapon over to my crappy one. So I've got to repair all that. Not that it's hard. But, um, so that be. I hope that's not right in the ring. Okay. Zen to station. Let's put it on the one that I like the best. Exploration guide, there we go. Planet to discover one of five dominant life forms Viking. Conflict level is mild. And the economy is engineering adequate. Okay, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that little bit. This is uh, another a galaxy that we found, and it's a waterless galaxy as well, a stellar class F5F, which is cool. So I'll look at the other planets in a minute. Anyway, guys, um, I thank you so much if you got this far with me, and I will catch you in my next one. See you soon.